Hi Peace Kids, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a great day and we're finally getting some cooler weather. Fall is in just a few days so you might start seeing the leaves starting to change and it's a lot colder outside and you know we're just getting closer to all this cold 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 weather it's just a beautiful day outside and hopefully you're thanking god for the beautiful sunshine and just everything in your life because life is good no matter what as long as you have god life is good okay so today we are continuing the story of adam and eve so we started with creation and then we learned about how eve was created from Adam. God created Eve from Adam's rib and we learned about how Adam had the job of naming all the animals and so God created Eve to help him. At this point Adam and Eve were perfect. God created the perfect human beings but he gave us this thing called free will. This allows us to make our own decisions, make our own choices, whether they're right or wrong. So today we're going to learn about the first sin that ever entered the world. Sin is all the bad things that we do, the bad choices that we make, disobeying, lying, stealing, talking back to your parents. All the bad things in this world are caused by sin. Sin makes us separate from God. Now there are stories in the Bible that we will talk about eventually of how we are saved from that sin, but today we're talking about how Adam and Eve made the first sin and what their consequences were. So God created Adam and Eve so they could have a relationship with God and to work together just to grow this earth and make it even more beautiful and take care of it. God entrusted humans to do that. See, God doesn't want us to sin. But all humans do it and it moves us away from God. Adam and Eve were God's first human creations. Way back at the beginning of time. When God created Adam and Eve, everything was going great in the world. In fact, like I said earlier, it was perfect. Adam and Eve were perfect. The world was perfect. You know, there were no tornadoes or hurricanes or tsunamis or, or forest fires. There was no sin. Everything was perfect. God told Adam and Eve that they could eat from any tree in the Garden of Eden except the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Let's see what happens in this story. So this story in the Bible is in Genesis 3 and we label it as the fall. Let's see what happened to Adam and Eve. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden, and you must not touch it or you will die. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God knowing good and evil. So we see here that the serpent was trying to get Eve to eat from this tree that God said not to eat. Why would he do that? So we continue the story and it says, When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, which was Adam, who was with her and he ate it too. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. So Adam and Eve had sinned. They ate from the tree that God said not to. And they instantly knew that they had done something wrong, and they instantly began to feel shame. So we read later in the story the consequences that God gave them. See, they tried to hide from God. You cannot hide from God. When you do something wrong, God knows, and he's gonna give you consequences. But listen to this. Unlike your mom or your dad, God's not gonna ground you. He's not gonna pull you to the death, even though here, that's what their consequences were. But God didn't mean a physical death. He meant a spiritual death. Their lives were gonna be completely different because they had sinned. See, God put a curse on them throughout their whole lives 
and for generations and generations after that because of their sin. See, God doesn't want us to sin. And our key verse today, it says that we all fall short of the glory of God because of sin. But God solved this sin by sending his son, Jesus. Today, we don't have to do all the things they had to do back then when they sinned. We have so much easier ways because Jesus died on the cross and rose again for us. He died for our sins, so we don't have to pay the consequences. Adam and Eve didn't have any other choice because God gave them one chance and they blew it. So from now on, when you sin, just know that we are much better off than people were back then. But we always need to ask for forgiveness and we always need to try to do better. We're going to sin, we're going to disobey, we're going to make mistakes. But at the end of the day, God still loves us and all he wants us to do is ask for forgiveness and try to do better next time. So don't make the mistake that Adam and Eve did way back when, but do better, try your hardest to do good and do everything that God says and your parents or grandparents. Anytime somebody tells you to do something, just obey, listen, and know that even if you mess up, God will forgive you. He doesn't want us to sin. He wants us to do our best. And he loves us no matter what. Have a good week, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this lesson about Adam and Eve in the first sin. And we will catch you next week in our next lesson. Bye, guys.